Hey guys, what is up? I hope you are all well and I hope you are having a great Sunday thus far. And I want to just say we are on our second part of Overrated and it's been quite an interesting series and today is just getting even better. Uh, last week we saw that trying to be like Jesus is overrated but we need to train to be like him. Follow his example, follow his teachings and go from there and ladies and gentlemen i just want to say i hope that you are uh, keeping on with your studies and i just want to encourage you to keep on going for it continue trying to get to your goals whether you are in a trick and you are stressed i want to say if you need help we are here the whole of the leadership is here uh, whether you need to talk to me or whether you want to talk to uh, Teacher Louise or even Rev Jen, we are all here. With that being said, and I've done my uh, introduction, let us just step into a bit of prayer and then we can start with this lesson. Father God, thank you that we can come today and just learn more about your word, Father, and how you want us to live. Father, I ask that you be with us as we go throughout this week and throughout this month as well. And Father, I just ask that as we journey into this lesson, that you'll open our minds as well as our hearts. I pray this in your name. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you that you are here again. And here's going to be an amazing lesson. So here... Mm, so guys, here's the amazing thing about this lesson is when we look at everything in the Bible, it really gives us examples of how people live then how and how we're living now can actually sync up a little bit. Now, I want to ask you a very, very important question. And hopefully, none of you put up your hand so that I hope no one does. So... Put up your hand, whether you're there or whether you are just sitting in front of the thing or watching it on your phone, put up your hand. If you think spending time with Jesus is overrated, I'm sure none of you have put up your hand now. I'm sure uh, none of you think spending time with Jesus is overrated, which it isn't. But I want to point to a verse in Luke chapter 10 and we're going from uh, 38 to 42 and it says here now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house and she had a sister called Mary who sat at Jesus's feet and heard his word but Martha was distracted with so much serving and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. As you can see, guys, when we look at this verse, Martha was so distracted, she was so busy, she didn't even stop and look to, you know, spend time with Jesus. Normally as a host, when we had a party, even if it's your own birthday party, now, what my parents always used to say is, Damien, you know, go and check up on your friends. Don't just stay with one group. You move around. So you would see that, like, at my one of my birthday parties, I had a bra and I had many people here. And what happened was, like, I was in this group, then I was in this group, then I was in this group, then I was in this group. And I was going to every group, spending time with them. But sometimes you get so caught up that you need to make sure they're okay you know makes sense but what many people don't realize is 
sometimes being busy is actually a bad thing. You will find that when you get into varsity or even when you start working, when people start being busy at work and they're like, no, I'm busy, I don't have time for this. It gets to a point where it becomes a problem. Now, why do I say it becomes a problem? Now, spending time with Jesus is not overrated. However, when we look at how people live and how we live, sometimes the way we live actually says indirectly that it's overrated. Like, oh, you spend time with Jesus is overrated. I've got other things to do. You know, I'll make time for him later. Why? Okay. So I want to put out a thing there. Investing time is important. But this is a story I want to tell. There was an incident in America where a girl and a friend were walking, but they were texting while walking. And there was an open sewer that the city opened and they were going to flush it out. And uh, the guys were just going to go get the cones, but they already opened it. Yes, they were at fault. But... The girl was on her phone the whole time and one, two, three, zip, she fell into the sewer hole. Now, it's not a good thing that she fell in there. She did get hurt, but she, she lived and she was fine. But a few bumps and scrapes, especially with her friend, she lost a shoe. Yes, she did. But they blamed everything on the city that they were too busy doing this but if the person was not on their cell phone you would have seen that that person would have actually seen the sewer hole and walked around it so yes both sides are wrong but we get so caught up especially with technology we, we on our phones and we never look up Sometimes I will tell a person now, especially when they're around a lot of people and they're only on their phone, they become very antisocial. What I'd like to say, hey, hey, look up, the graphics are better. And, and then they actually look up. Sometimes we need to do that. When we are busy, we need to look up. We need to look up to Jesus. We need to look up to God. Because sometimes when we get busy, we tend to lose our way. Now, a awesome thing Louis Giglio said, was follow the trail, you'll find a throne. Now, what did he mean by that? Now, I'm going to break it up. I don't know if this is the exact meaning, but what I got from that is if you follow a certain path, you're going to get to a throne. Now, that throne means what was important to you. If it was, uh, you know, you are only focused on your job, but you're not focused on Jesus, you'll find that, you know, your, your success will be there. Um, but if you follow Jesus, everything that you've desired will be there. But you will be there with your eternal crown, as they call it. Remember, we're running the race of life, and we are running the race to get our crown. But we need to understand that if we follow a trail, there will be a throne. And it's your decision what throne that's going to be. If, you want, if you're following Jesus and you are letting him direct your path, then you will find Jesus at the end of the road, which means he will be on the throne. So, make sense? So, with that, we need to understand, Martha got so busy serving and preparing that she forgot about Jesus. And in the same way, we do that in our own lives. We get busy, we do homework, we do uh, projects, we study, but we always give Jesus the dregs of our time. Now, let me give you a story. Now, most of you knew I used to be a very avid uh, chess player where I went to provincials and I even went to the South African championships with my team. But I want to say this. If I didn't practice, I wouldn't have gotten to where I was. So I invested time. It was so much so that when I started, I always used to play against my dad, my, but my, I used to think I was winning. Well, little did I know my dad was actually planning something in the background, and my dad always used to beat me. Uh, 
very, for a very long time, my dad used to beat me. It got so much so that I decided I need to practice against my mom, who also knew how to play, um, because I was an easier opponent at that time. But sometimes the easy option is not always the right option. But the more I played, the more I trained. I had a coach. I had a coach called uh, Wim Chris. Uh, then I had uh, Vincent. And then I also had a guy by the name of Libya. These three people actually taught me a lot of things. And I invested time. There were times where I went on a Saturday. I, was at, uh, I went to Cornwall Hill for, I think it was at 8 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the morning. And I only finished there at around about one o'clock. So yes, basically nearly four or five hours of continuous training in chess. And eventually I got to a point where I actually started beating my dad. Uh, and I used to beat him uh, regularly. But it wasn't always just the easy match, but I knew I could beat him. And there's a saying that, you know, if you think you're gonna beat, uh, beat somebody, the person that is knowing that he's gonna win, he's going to most likely win. But what is this point? I invested time, okay? Which means if you invest time in Jesus and you invest time with him, so in other words, not going, okay, you know what? I think I've got 15 minutes to do quiet time. I think I've got, hmm, I don't know. Invest time with him. Spend an hour, whether it's reading the Bible or listening to worship music or maybe just you know spending time in prayer pretend jesus is like your, your best friend that's how you're going to get to know jesus and that's how jesus is going to come closer to you is when you start chatting to him like he's your best friend yes with a bit of respect like in other words chat with him like he's there yes people might think you're a little bit bonkers but do it and you'll see things will change spending time with Jesus is not overrated. If you invest time with God, God will invest things in you. He will make your plans clear. He will, he will show you the way. He'll give you more signs that you need in your current prediction, uh, predicament. So, guys, I want to say, spending time with Jesus, is it overrated? I guess not. So that is the message today. Go read Luke chapter 10, and it's from 38 to 42. Remember, Mary chose to be with Jesus instead of focusing on all the other things. She chose what was good and what won't be taken from her, and that is the words of Jesus. And I'm sure after when Jesus died, and he rose again and he went to heaven. Mary remembered every word he said that evening. So guys, I hope you will spend time with Jesus. Spend time with God. And focus on investing time with him. Set a part of your day that it's just with Jesus. If it's the morning, spend it in the morning. If it's in the evening, spend it in the evening. But spend time. Good quality time. With that being said, uh, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. And I hope that you have an amazing week further. Have a great one. Enjoy the worship. And we'll see each other again next week. spoke a word, you were singing over me, you have been so, so good to me, before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me, you have been so, so kind to me. I'm
don't deserve it Still you give yourself away Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God Yeah, yeah When I was your fault Still your love fought for me You have been so, so good to me When I felt no worse You paid it all for me You have been so, so